Let's plug my microphone in. I'm using a proper microphone today. I just need to switch on to that. Three, two, one. Don't let me drown. Don't let me drown. One, two, three. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name's Lydia, and I enter health videos here on YouTube pretty much every day. Today I'm here to talk about a situation. As you guys know, I've been on Twitter for a long time, I've been doing YouTube for a while, and there was a friend that I used to have who did videos with me and I did videos with her back when I lived in Lancashire, which was not last year, the year before, so two years ago. I moved out of Lancashire because things got too intense for me that I was using drugs, going out drinking every night, I nearly killed myself with alcohol. I, I moved, I had to move because if I'd have stayed there I probably wouldn't be alive right now and I know this year I've had some ups and downs and I've been in hospital a lot. Overall I am more safe and a lot better off than I was when I lived in Preston. But before I get into it I'm going to read you a text message that I sent last night just because I was so pissed off at the fact that she was getting involved again after already ruining my life once. Right. Hi Alice, it's Lydia. I'm only writing this because I've been informed of multiple tweets of you saying that I'm some kind of liar, which you and I both is not true. The whole thing with the university, I sent them an email asking about how they found out about me being arrested as it was an undisclosable offence, which got dropped in court as no case to answer, not lack of evidence. That's how I found out you went running to the university about something. What irritated me, and still does bother me, was the fact that you never at any point mentioned it to me that you'd been told the you. Not only you stating that not many people like me in Preston, I couldn't care less. I'm glad I'm not around drug use anymore, I'm glad I don't drink anymore. With regards to your threat of you making a video about it, you should know police will be informed and I will publicly release all documentation provided by my solicitor. We haven't spoken in over a year and all of a sudden you all of a sudden you now want to bring everything up. If you do make a video, be sure to include the part where you went to the uni without talking to me first, therefore making it so I had to change uni costing me over £16,000 in additional debt. So think carefully about this one. That's not me threatening her, that's me stating a fact. To new people who haven't followed me for a long time or to people who don't really remember I wasn't around but I didn't really watch my videos back then. I got arrested because Alice, and I'm not going to be coy about names, I'm not going to hide the name because she doesn't deserve that. She said to the police that I was lying. So they am taking advice from her, being my best friend at the time and the only person I spoke to in Preston at that point. She told them that I was fine. That I was fine, basically. Police came to my flat, Lydia, we're placing you under arrest. I don't want to go into a lot of what happened in custody. Um, if you want to know, my previous diary video will enlighten you there. I so we'll fast forward to my court date, which was the 25th of September 2018. I went to trial with her because when I went to court initially, I went not guilty because I wasn't, I didn't do anything wrong. I was then, you know, free to go. I went, one thing that everyone should know is a month later, I went to visit my friend who was in hospital who had a court date. He was in Blackpool at the time and I went to spend time with her because I know how hard court is and, you know, she's on the section three. She's still on, in hospital at this point and it literally breaks my heart. So we're, we're in October. Well, 30th, I think it was the end of the month, 30th or the 30th. And after the court date, my friend, because it's something that had been going on for a year with the court system, and she had been told, oh, we can't do anything, you got to go to Crown Court, and she was so stressed out, she took an overdose. How she got the tablet, I don't know, but she did. On that day, I went to visit Alex, and we filmed a video, and this video is still up, and I will put it on screen now, it's also in the card, whatever side that is. I'll also link it in the description down below, and it's called Fake Friends. What it shows is me and Alice being friends. Me and Alice were filming a video about asylums versus psych wards, because she was doing an assignment, and that's fine, I don't mind answering questions about psych wards. I'm very open about my experience in mental health. Prior to then, I emailed the university and I'll put on screen now the email that I sent. And this was their response to me. Um, that's how I knew that Alice went behind my back. You know, like, oh no, she made it up, she made it up, she's lying. I've literally got the court documentation. I've got those statements, her statement and mine. I've got my custody record. I've got a copy of the interview with the police. And I've got a copy of the court notes. I could put all that information out there. I have nothing, I have nothing to lose from doing that anymore. I'm making this video now because she said on the 30th October that she was going to be releasing it by the weekend. And the fact that it's Saturday makes me believe that it will be today or tomorrow. I'm going to jump ahead of the game here. I'm making this video because it needs to be said. Alice, what the f*** are you doing? Doing. Literally, what the f you went behind my back to the university and got my study suspended. You've lied to people online about the court thing. You wasn't there. You don't know what happened. The case got dismissed because there was no case to answer. My medical records alone 
proved that. The court documentation proved that. The custody record proved that. Your statement that you wrote was false about me. And I fully believe that. You made my life a living hell. You hung around with people who talked shit about me. And they used like, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It does. People were people who we used to drink with together. I stopped drinking because I don't see the point. It's so fun about getting drunk. I don't get it anymore. And using people hate me and press them. I don't care. Do you know what? I'm going to admit something here that I never thought I'd sound care. I grasped up on every little drug ring that I knew. I grasped up on my ex and I told the police exactly where they got the drop off points from. I managed to get the number of a drug dealer. I don't regret that. Anyone who uses illegal drugs is in the wrong. The thing is, Alice had to answer the text. I don't know if she will put up the video. I don't know what she'll do. All I can say is Alice has had no contact with me since that day. You know, she hasn't any contact with me because I blocked her on everything as soon as I found out. I was so mad when I read that email. It's very clear that she, she's finishing uni this year. She doesn't know what to do with herself and she's trying to build up a YouTube channel so she can rely on it for an income. She's joined this club of haters and she thinks it's okay and right it's so fucked like she wants to make a video saying that like attacking me what are you trying to do ruin my life for a second time okay we'll see how this goes because let me tell you she releases a video first thing i'm doing reporting it and i'll add it to the report it's already ongoing with regards to the, the hate the harassment and the trolling so all three of those things are illegal so yeah, so yeah. bye guys, bye guys. That's, that's how i've done the video, video. using a microphone, microphone.